What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for sign of Cancer. This can resonate if you have Cancer in any, any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Sun, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with us. Um... This is for July of 2022 for the sign of Cancer. Um, I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node signs as well for additional message or messages if they apply to you. Um, and also check out the uh, video uh, from the other reader talking about um, tarot card addiction. This is not tarot card addiction. This is psychic, intuitive, prophetic messages. Um, this is not... I'm not trying to lure you in with sex magic or what have you, what have you. I'm not telling you niceties and fancy things. I'm just telling you the truth. Um, so just let everybody know here. Which anybody's been me a hot minute, you know that. So, um, but I do encourage anybody that has a tarot card addiction to please check out that video because it's very eye opening and it's the truth. And that's the truth. I mean, yes, I still watch tarot card readings from time to time, but only for entertainment purposes. Like, and that's just the truth, just because I enjoy them. Um, and that's the truth. And I like to pick up the energy of the universe. But that's just me. I can only speak on myself. Spirit messages you have signed of cancer. I did receive one channel message for you, Cancer. Um, that's why I'm doing your reading for July 2022. I heard a very high vibrational um, cancer. Uh, for, this is for a high, very high vibrational cancer. I heard you have recently separated from an earth sign and they have implanted a hidden camera in your bedroom. You need to check. Whoever that is for and how that applies, uh, ma'am. You uh, heard you're a very high vibrational cancer, so you treat people with honesty, trust, respect, morals, values, ethics, and integrity. Um, you have recently blocked your energy and separated from a um, earth sign masculine Taurus Capricorn Virgo masculine I heard they have in recently or recent past how that resonates it sounds like at, before you have separated from them they have implanted a hidden camera in your bedroom it doesn't sound like they live with you it sounds like they might have once lived with you or you live with them I think they live with you because I heard they plant, implanted it in your bedroom. So I think you lived with them. I'm sorry. They lived with you. And you kicked them out? Is what I'm thinking. Um, is what I'm thinking. Whoever this earth sign masculine is. you need Somebody needs to get a hidden camera detector on iOS or Android. High vibrational cancer. I think you live with yourself or live with somebody else. I heard your bedroom. So somebody needs to scan their bedroom for a hidden camera. But if you, um, if you find it and it turns out it's you, no, it's this earth sign, masculine you have recently separated from. I don't know who this person is or how they apply. For some, I feel it could be a, obviously they're stalkery and obsessive. Um, I feel it for some, it could be a family member, a former lover, or um, something of that nature. I don't know. I didn't get specifics, but. I hope you find the hidden camera, ma'am. If you do, I would love to know if you feel comfortable enough to tell me. Um, it sounds like it's currently in your, I heard your bedroom. So somebody needs to be careful um, and somebody needs to scan their bedroom. Whoever you are, ma'am. That's at least for one of you guys out there. But you were dealing with the earth sign masculine in the past. You have blocked your energy from them. But they have revenged back with a hidden camera. In your bedroom. Spirit messages you have for Sonic Cancer. I feel you could be emotional over a person, people, place, or situation, or someone could be emotional over you. Um, it could be when you find this hidden camera for some of you high vibrational cancers. Um, for some, you could have addictions, or someone you're connected to could have addictions. Maybe that, um, I think that Earth sign masculine has sex addictions. And I'm just being for real. I, I think I'm serious. I feel cool for a lot of you guys. You were sexually connected to them in some shape, form, or fashion. Somebody needs to scan their bedroom. And I'm just being so serious. Number 44 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 44, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. Number 44. 
spirit messages you have for Sonic Cancer. A cancer that's about to get admitted to a to a skilled nursing facility. For some, they are going to implant a hidden camera in their room. For some, they're going to get a family member to implant a hidden camera in their room. They know their areas, skilled nursing facilities are very shysty and they're right. Oh, okay, cancer. So whoever you are, ma'am, and how this applies. Um, I heard you're about to be admitted to a skilled nursing facility soon. So um, it sounds like you need care. Um, it sounds like you know you need care enough to be admitted to this skilled nursing facility. So you need extra care and services um, in some shape, form, or fashion. But um, for and it's at least two of you guys. It's at least two. So I feel you're older. I, I do. I feel you're older. Uh, I don't know how old you are. I didn't hear how old you are. But you can be younger and be admitted to skilled nursing facilities too and that's just the truth um i've been a nurse a long time and i've seen people in their in their young 20s to 102 i mean and i'm serious so really all depends on the person and the health conditions and the care needed and things of that nature but whoever you are uh ma'am uh, it's at least two of you ma'ams um for some you're going to get you are going to go get the hidden camera and implant it in your own resident room. For some, you're going to get a family member to go buy a hidden camera and implant it in your resident room. Because I heard you know the skilled nursing facilities in your community are shysty, and I heard you're right. So I think you're going to protect yourself with this hidden camera. Now, of course, you cannot implant hidden cameras in other residents' room. <laughs> that is criminal and illegal, just to let everybody know. It is, for real, for real. But you can in yours. Um, or the family member can with your consent and authorization. Um, I think you're going to build a case or just protect yourself against um, bad healthcare workers is exactly what I think, ma'am, whoever you are and how that applies. You are a cancer fam. You could have cancer in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, men, hammer, Jupiter charts. Heard you're about to be admitted to a skilled nursing facility soon. So I think you're with your correct mental facets and you know you're about to go. Um, and you know you need to pay, um, whoever you are. And I think you watch my videos um, or somebody you're connected to does. Spirit messages you have sonic cancer. Whoever you are, ma'am. Experiments that you have sonic cancer. Spear, bull, target. Number 44 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 44. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, number 44. Swan and raccoon. For some, you'd be dealing with an um, air sign or an earth sign. For some, you definitely are dealing with a creepy-ass, sex-addicted earth sign that has one of you guys has implanted a hidden camera in your bedroom, and I'm just being for real. Um, and I don't feel this is in a skilled nursing facility. I think this is a private residence. I'm just saying, just saying. Swan.
A younger cancer feminine is about to break into the music industry, but about to do it on their own terms. America's Got Talent. Oh, well, congrats whoever that's for. Okay, I heard a younger um, cancer fan is about to break into the music industry, but on their own, but on their own terms, America's Got Talent. So I feel you could have been on America's Got Talent, or you're about to be on America's Got Talent, or you're about to apply for America's Got Talent. However, that resonates. Younger cancer fam, I feel you'd be 35, 36, or something of that nature or below. Um, you, I think you are a good singer. Uh, you have a nice voice. And, um, but I heard you're going to do it on your own terms, so you don't want to be controlled. Dominated by the music industry, basically. And I don't blame you. Who the hell likes to be controlled or dominated, period? Um, by anybody. Music industry, porn industry, crazy controlling husbands or wives or what have you, what have you. Nobody likes that shit. Um, so you're going to do it on your own terms, and I think it's through America's Got Talent. So, um, I feel for some you could be an ugly duckling in the past, and you have transformed into the swan. Um, which is really beautiful. I think of the children's book, The Ugly Duckling. And I'm just being for real frail. So I think you've transformed into the swan, my dear. And, um, or you're about to, how that resonates. You are younger, cancer femme. Um, you could have cancer in any aspect of your charts. And you're about to chase your dreams, ma'am. And congratulations for who this is for. It's really, really, really beautiful. And another high vibrational cancer fam is about to really pay it forward to another swan, fire sign fam swan, in a beautiful way. They know this person has been through a hell of a lot, and they're right, they have. Older fire sign fam. Okay, and a high vibrational cancer fam is about to pay it forward. Now, I feel you'd be younger or older you pull up you plug it in how it resonates um you're high vibrational ma'am you're about to pay it forward to a another high vibrational older fire sign femme i heard you know that she's basically been through hell and back um and i heard you're right she has um so i think she has turned into the swan regardless i think she might have been an ugly duckling in the past and she's transformed into the swan it sounds like retaliation energy here it sounds like she's been retaliated against and I think you're highly intuitive and you know this. And you're about to pay it forward to her in a huge way in some shape or fashion. So congratulations to you, ma'am, whoever you are. That's very wonderful, high vibrational energy there, ma'am. If that resonates for you. Raccoon. An earth sign through many series of chain of events is about to be put on the child predatory list. And an earth sign, sex addict. And an, another earth sign, sex addict. Through many series of chain of events. Will be known as a danger to society. Mental health court. Hidden cameras all over the city. Oh my God. So creepy earth sign energy. Um masculines masculines um earth sign energy masculines horse capricorn virgo creepy earth sign masculines um one it sounds like they're gonna be uh, sentenced to some kind of mental horse mental horse mental health court because of um creepy warrior cameras all over the city so they live in a city or they implanted hidden cameras all over a city sounds like in people's bedrooms or other areas um and for one they're a pedophile and they're going to be uh, through many series of chain events they're about to be put on the child predatory um list so um the the pedo list basically um i forget exactly what that's called um there's a name for it um the pedophile watch list or something like that child predatory list um so you plug it in how it resonates but um so it sounds like they have been connected or is about to be connected to some kind of child pedophile ring um, in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, and for one, they're responsible for or um, was an accomplice to some kind of hidden camera energy all over a city. Um, 
and they're about to be sentenced to mental health court in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, whoever this earth sign is and how they apply. For some, I feel it's the earth sign. For you, high vibrational ma'am that um, is currently has a hidden camera in your home, in your bedroom, apparently. But maybe by one of these creepy earth signs, maybe by somebody else. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Wolf, them, and hemorrhage. If you're charged, you plug in and how it resonates, ma'am. Community. An earth sign that has impregnated a Pisces feminine. This Pisces feminine is about to ever regret being with this person. This Pisces feminine is about to go down with this earth sign through many series of chain of events. Criminals. Okay, so somehow you're connected to a Pisces fem with this earth sign, Cancer, because we're in your reading. So, okay, so there's an earth sign that has impregnated a Pisces fem. For some, it could be your ex earth sign that you separated energy from, and um, they implanted the hidden camera in your bedroom. For some, it could be, for some of you guys, it could be anybody else. But some kind of earth sign, creep, like, serious mental health issues here person uh, i think it's either the mental health court person that's about to be um sentenced to mental health court or the one about to be on the child pedophile list um how that resonates or the pedophile watch list or whatever that's called i'm not sure what that's called but how that resonates um this earth sign has impregnated a pisces feminine um i heard the pisces feminine is going to ever regret basically being impregnated by this um earth sign masculine because it sounds like something very negative is about to happen to him because he's a criminal and negative things are about to happen to her he is about to turn on her in a huge way they're both going down he's about to turn on her in a huge way they're both going down and a scorpio masculine is about to turn on them too they're going down and a scorpio masculine is about to turn on them too they're going down so a Scorpio masculine um, and the Earth sign masculine is about to turn on this Pisces fam. She's currently pregnant um, by him, apparently. Um, so community energy, betrayal energy, sounds like a bunch of drama if you ask me. This is crazy. You plug it in how it resonates. A past in a toxic community is about to come rushing back in a huge way. For one cancer, you're going to help bring it out. Very significant reporting energy soon. Okay, I heard the past is about to come rushing out in a toxic community soon. For one of you guys, you're going to help bring this toxic out, uh, toxic information out with some kind of significant reporting energy. So toxic community energy here, but you are about to be a catalyst in a positive way with some kind of significant report. Um, whoever you're going to report to, um, I don't know if it's police or federal agents or child protective services or the state. Um, we were pulling in unemployment fraud in Scorpios. We were pulling in tax evasion in Scorpios. So it could be to the IRS. It could be to the state. State would you would report um, unemployment fraud. Um, or any other kind of fraud, food stamp fraud, welfare fraud, um, what have you, what any kind of fraud, um, unless it's federal level, um, or wh what have you, what have you, um, scamming, spamming, um, um, illegal businesses, that would be federal trade commission reporting, that's federal government, however that resonates, but some kind of significant reporting energy, you're about to be the catalyst, ma'am. And it sounds like you lived in this toxic community or you still do. And you're about to stand up and report, make an official report, community energy, toxic community in that aspect.
A cancer is about to become very, very, very highly intuitive of their nerves soon. For, for some, it's wait staff. For some, it's a person that works at an airline. Okay, I heard a cancer is about to become very highly intuitive. Some, some of you guys, a person that works at an airline. For some, it's your wait staff. For some, it is um, a nurse. So, um, and we have a community card for some. Some it could be home health, home health nurse is what I'm doing for some. For some, it could be your home health nurse if you do home health. Um, receive home health services possibly for some. Um, or it could be somebody you're connected to that receives home health services. Or a nurse in a skilled nursing facility or a hospital or dialysis or what have you, what have you. There's many different facets nurses can um, participate in. Uh, many, many, many career avenues for nurses. And that's just the truth. So for some, I feel it's your nurse. For some, it's somebody you're connected to as a nurse. But you're really about to start watching this nurse. Um, either for education or because they're not doing what they're supposed to do. How that resonates. Um, cancer. Um, but it is a nurse of your community or airlines, either in a community or your community. I think this could be wait staff at the airline, like when you go into the airport, or a flight attendant or flight attendants, um, or restaurant staff. So however that resonates, but you're about to become very highly intuitive. So you're really going to pay attention to what they're doing. Um, but there's a reason you're about to really pay attention to what they're doing. So, um, and I, I think it might be because they're not doing what they're supposed to do. Possibly for some. A cancer is about to experience severe racism soon, very publicly in a public place. They're about to contact a very significant group soon to help combat, combat this racism. Okay. I heard a um, cancer is about to um, experience severe racism in a public community soon. Uh, public community setting, and I heard after you experienced this huge racism, racism cancer, um, you're going to call a significant group to help combat the racism. So however that resonates and applies for you, cancer, I don't know what race you are, but however that applies. For some, you are Japanese. For some, you are African American. For some, you are Native American. For some, you are um, Japanese. For some, you are African American. For some, you are Native Native American. So, um, community in this aspect is your race, um, your racial community. But I don't believe in racism. I don't believe in racism. Anybody knows me knows that. I do not believe in racism. I don't. I think that's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. It's so much so that you're about to contact an activist group, basically. Um, you're, it sounds like you haven't experienced the racism yet in your community or a community, but you're about to. You're either African American, Japanese, or Native American. But once you experience this racism, um, I heard um, you're going to contact, I think, an activist group in your career, whatever um, you you know, whatever group that is for you. Um, I heard for some you're Japanese, for some you're African American, for some you are. Uh, Native American. So you plug it in how it resonates. Woman holding a heart. A cancer is about to experience a huge respect for a reader. A huge respect. About to pay it forward to this reader in a huge way. This person truly picks up on energy. And they, they are right. They, they do. Has been picking up on their energy. Okay, well, that's beautiful, Cancer. 
So if this resonates for you, um, you're about to really, really, really have a great caring and affection for a reader. Uh, think a tarot reader or a psychic or an intuitive or um, or something like that, um, kind of like what I do. Like I said, I'm a, a psychic medium um, with, um, and I deliver pro prophetic, psychic medium, prophetic messages. But I use car, oracle cards and tarot cards just because I like to do, to use them. I don't have to. Um, to me, it feels it ties into the um, downloads better um, because it does. A lot of times when I do it, it confirms the cards coming out confirms my messages. So I love using, especially oracle cards. Um, but however that resonates, I heard um, you're about to really love this reader because you're about to realize they really do pick up on energy. They really do feel energy. They really do pick up on energy. They really are the real deal, basically. They really freaking are. Um, and I heard you're about to really love them. I think something they have already said in their reading or readings, whether it's personal reading or public reading, collective reading like this, has already resonated with you. For some, for some, you might discover this reader soon, whether it's me or somebody you're connected to. I mean, whether it's me or somebody else. And you're about to realize something they said or is about to say is about to come true. Um, like truly come true in your 3D. And uh, you're about to realize they true, really are energy reader. They really, really are psychic, basically. Um, and you're about to really love them. I heard you're about to really pay it forward to them in a huge way. A huge ass way. A huge ass way is what I heard. So a huge ass way you're about to pay it forward to them. Well, um, but I mean, you're pulling woman holding a heart. So I think you're a femme energy, ma'am. Or a masculine takes on heavy femme. But you're about to gain lots of love for this reader. Um, but it's because they really are picking up on your energy. And they're able to deliver you prophetic downloads to, I think, help you in your world. Or, uh, I think, help you foresee future is what I'm feeling. But you plug it in how it resonates, ma'am. I heard you're about to pay it forward to them in a huge-ass way. You are about to realize you are very, very, very wrong about this person for one of you. For one, you knew they were the golden egg all along. Okay, for one, you knew this person was the golden golden egg all along. For one, you um, didn't think they were the golden egg all along, and you're about to realize they are. So um, you're about to have caring and deep affection and love for this person, not like mushy-gushy love, but true love, I think, and respect for this person. So much so you're about to pay it forward in a huge way. No, when you pay it forward in a huge way, it's going to piss a Libra off in a huge way, but you don't care. Okay, I heard no, when you pay it forward in a huge way, it's going to piss a Libra off in a huge way, but I heard you don't care. So, um, you whoever this Libra is and how they're connected to you, it's some kind of Libra energy. They're going to be pissed when you pay it forward to this reader. A uh, masculine or femme, I feel prophet or prophetess, um, like a um, Nostradamus type energy, just saying, just saying. Um, and, um, it's going to piss the Libra off in a huge way, but I heard you don't care. So whoever this Libra is and how they connect to you, you don't care. So how that resonates, sir, ma'am, I think you're a ma'am or a masculine and take something you can. You plug it in how it resonates. Spear heartache over what you no longer have. A sister of yours is about to lace your drink soon. For some, it's alcoholic beverage. For some, it's not. But you're about to taste the difference. It would not be smart to accept any drinks or food from this person. They are very sneaky and they do not have good intentions. Oh my God, you plug it in how it resonates. Somebody's got a very malicious, spiteful sister. Um, and whoever this person is, this malicious, spiteful sister, it's your sister of cancer, if this resonates for you. You can be masculine or femme um, cancer. For some, you're a reader. Very popular online social media platform. For some, you're masculine. For some, feminine. 
Okay, for some, you're a reader, very popular online social media platform. For some, you're a masculine popular online reader. For some, you're a femme, masculine online popular reader. Um, but it's a very spiteful, malicious behind the scenes sister. They're, I think they're very jealous of you, of your probably your platform, of your success, of your fame, of your notoriety, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I heard they've been secretly lacing your damn drink. Um, for some it's alcoholic beverage, for some it's not. But I heard you're going to taste the difference. Um, I heard to be smart not to accept any food or drinks from this person. I think they live with you, whoever this is for. I think they live with you or they come over a lot or you go over to their home a lot. It could be a foster sister or a biological sister or somebody you call a sister. However that resonates. But um, heartache over what you no longer have, I think it's about to, I think this is rose colored glasses about to come off about the sister. I think you trusted this sister in the past. I think you wanted to trust this sister in the past, but you're about to realize you can't. And it's about to be to the point, you're going to taste the difference in your drink. I wonder what the hell they're lacing it with. I didn't hear. I wonder if it's like arsenic. Whatever it is, I think it's something that could slowly poison you over time. And I say that because in Virgo's reading, I've been picking up a Virgo masculine for the past few months that's been slowly been poisoned by his wife. Um... So she can kill him off and get the insurance money. So I wonder if that's what's going on with you, sir or ma'am, online popular social media platform person. I hope not. I didn't hear that. But I heard you're going to be able to taste the difference. So if that message ends up applying for you, I'd be very, very careful. I'd throw the drinks away. I wouldn't accept any food. I don't care how hungry I was. I would wait. It's better to have your life than die eating like a king on some poison shit. If anybody needs to hear that, I think you're going to be heartbroken when you realize this sister, whether they're a biological sister, a foster sister, or a sister you just want to call a sister, has been poisoning your ass. I hope you go get some lab tests drawn to figure out what the hell they've been putting on you. And I'm just being for real. If that message ends up applying for you, I don't know who that's for. It's at least for two of you guys out there, though, but you both have online so popular social media platforms. You're both tarot readers. One, you're masculine. One, you're femme. I'd be going to get lab tests drawn if it was me, if I suspect it was me, to see if I was being poisoned. Because you're not going to know until you get a full lab panel drawn to see if what's in your bloodstream. Now, hell, I mean, it's better to be safe than sorry. If you're not being poisoned, you're not being poisoned. But if you are, wouldn't you rather know? That's the way I look at it. Oh, my God. Bull, do not back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude. A cancer masculine's baby mama is about to come ask you for more money. This would not be smart. You already paid them child support. Okay, a cancer masculine's baby mama is about to try to come ask you for more child support, uh, more money, basically. I heard it would not be smart. You already paid them child support. Of course, you can choose to listen to spiritual downloads or not. You can give them more money if you want, sir. You're a cancer masculine and you have a baby mama, I heard. So I don't think you've actually been in a relationship with this person. I think it might have been a hit and quitted or a one night stand or a situation ship or a stinky link or what have you, what have you. I don't know. I'm not you, sir, but I don't think you've actually ever been in a relationship with her. But she's going to come wanting more money. Um, the spiritual download in this was basically stand up to her. You, uh, whoever you are, you pay legal child support to her. So it would not be smart. Uh, to give her more money. Of course, you can listen to spiritual download or not. Target a goal-oriented person. A, a cancer is about to hit a very important goal soon. Very important milestone. For some, your social media platform... For some, weight loss. Okay, I heard a cancer is about to hit a very important goal soon. For some, your social media platform. For some, your business. 
I'm sorry, not your business, your weight, weight loss, weight loss. So for some, you've been um, focusing on losing weight. For some, you've been focusing on um, there's some kind of goal you're about to achievement you're about to hit on your social media platform. It could be that popular social media platform, cancer, mask, or fan that's secretly being poisoned by your damn sister or not. I don't know. I said I just be careful. But um, your goal-oriented person, target hitting goals here, whether it's weight loss, social media platform, about to hit a goal, or what have you, what have you. You plug it in how it resonates cancer. C N M C N M L C N M L O C N M L O C is in cat M is in um mark um, N is a nest, L is in Lucy, uh, O is an octopus, S, S, B, and B. S is in um, strawberry, and B is in butter. So you plug it in how it resonates. I feel that could be a first middle or a last initial of you or somebody you're connected to. For some, it could be that baby mama. For some, it could be that crazy-ass sister. For some, it could be um, the crazy-ass earth sign you've separated from. P. P. And J. P and J, too. P and J. So, P is in peanut butter and J is in jam. Um, it could be the crazy-ass earth sign you've separated from. Creepy voyeur person through hidden cameras. It could be anybody. It, it could be a first, middle, last initial, you, your name. Um, you have to plug it in how it resonates. That's a lot of initials, so you'll have to go back and check the whole plethora, play it back if you need the whole list of um, initials, okay? D and D. D is in dog. So you plug it in how it resonates. A significant letter sent to a cancer is about to become very significant in a positive way. And a significant letter a cancer is about to send to a feminine energy is about to become very significant in a very positive way. United States Postal Service. Okay, I heard a, a significant letter a cancer is about to send a fem energy. And a significant letter a cancer is about to send somebody, masculine or femme, is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. United States Postal Service. But I heard it's very positive. So both of these situations are very positive. Whether you're receiving this letter in the United States Postal Service, it's positive. Or whether you're sending the letter to a Fem Energy in the United States Postal Service, positive. How that resonates, sir, ma'am, whoever you are. Okay? All right, you guys, we're done. I'm getting out of here. I hope this helped. And I'm staying.